And first at 10 and breaking right now, hundreds of pigs are on the loose right now in Greene County after a semi crashes. It happened on the westbound side of US 35 bypass right near Walmart heading into Xenia. Robert Lowry is there live with the breaking search for the missing pigs. Well, Mark and Katie, we were just told by the Xenia Township Fire Chief that about 1,500 pigs have been found after this semi turned over here on the highway. Now, take a look at the effort, actually, to get some of these pigs out here. There's been an assembly line of fire crews, police officers, some troopers out here just to get these pigs from that overturned semi into many of these trailers that really a lot of the community members have been coming out here. They've had farmers from Greene County and the surrounding areas coming out here, bringing these trailers, supporting their time just to get this area cleared out. As I mentioned, about 1,500 pigs have been taken to the Green County Fairgrounds right now. We have heard there's still uh, many hundreds of pigs still out here in the farming area, out here in the woods. Fire chief saying that they don't expect to find all the pigs out here, but unfortunately, we were just told about 300 to 400 pigs have already been pronounced dead. Now, as far as injuries on this crash, we do know that there were two people in that semi. The driver, he is doing just fine, we're told that the passenger in that semi was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. That truck was going uh, to Indiana from South Carolina. So we do know that that company who owns all these pigs, they're bringing a truck down from Cleveland to try and take care of the rest of the pigs right now. Still trying to clear up this road. We have a lot of farmers and a lot of their uh, farming equipment, these trucks coming out here, making sure that they get this cleared up as soon as possible. We will stay out here and let you know how long this is going to take, continuing to get more updates from the Xenia Fire Chief. But for now, reporting live in Xenia, Robert Lowry, two news working for you.